بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Friday is سيد الأيام The master of the days According to a narration from the Holy Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم It's the only day of the week that an entire chapter of the Holy Quran is named after It's also referred to as the day of the emancipation from hell and it holds a special status in Islam Historically, amongst many significant events such as the day of Ghadir and the day Prophet Adam's repentance was accepted by the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala, Friday has also been recorded as the day of the birth of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as the day also of the birth of Imam Ali alayhi salam and Lady Fatima, peace and blessings be upon them, as well as the awaited saviour Imam al-Mahdi, peace and blessings be upon him. Of course, the day of Friday is mostly associated with the Friday prayer which is a tremendously important act of worship emphasized in the Holy Quran. Yet, at the same time, many Muslims in the Western world perhaps have neglected the other important aspects of this blessed day and the immense rewards from the Almighty Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for certain deeds and actions. I have come across about 30 recommendations for Friday, but here are 10 highly rewarding acts to implement every Friday into our lives. Number one, ghusl. The Friday ghusl is emphatically encouraged in Islamic teachings. The Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, is reported to have said, never abandon ghusl al jumuah even if you have to save on food and spend it on performing the ghusl of Friday, because it's one of the greatest mustahab acts. For a number of our jurists, such as Ayatollah Sistani Hafizahullah, the Friday ghusl suffices for wudu, i.e. you don't need to offer wudu after performing the ghusl to indeed perform prayers. You can perform the ghusl anytime from Fajr to Dhuhr on Friday with the intention of Ada, meaning performance, or from Dhuhr till Maghrib on Friday with the intention of Qurba, proximity, or even you can do it on Saturday during the day with the intention of Qadha, just imagine. Now all these three times would cover wudu according to his eminence and the number of other fuqaha. Now ghusl al-jum'ah is like any other ghusl, i.e. it can be done sequentially by starting with the head first, after niyyah, and then washing the body afterwards. Number two, trimming the nails and personal hygiene. Specific narrations highlight the reward for trimming the nails on Friday and that it would protect against poverty and other tribulations. In fact, some traditions recommend cleaning the nails if they're already trimmed. One narration actually in the famous hadith book Wasail al-Shia states that trimming nails on Fridays will bring more rizq sustenance than dua recited between fajr and sunrise. Similarly, it's recommended to trim the moustache, put perfume, wear new and clean clothes, and ensure teeth are clean. Number three, charity. Imam al-Sadiq is narrated to have said, if you wanted to give sadaqah before Friday, delay it until you give it on Friday itself. In another narration, he states that the reward for any charity given on Fridays will be multiplied by a thousand times by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, making the family happy. Interestingly, we are encouraged to bring sweets, fruits, or anything that would place joy and happiness into the hearts of the family, including the children, on Fridays. It's a beautiful thing that within the guidance of enhancing spirituality on a day like Friday, maintaining a healthy family relationship is emphasized upon in Islam. Number five, salawat. Sending salutations upon the Holy Prophet and his holy pure progeny, peace and blessings be upon them, is considered one of the best deeds on Friday. The more salawat we recite by saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad, the more we are showered with blessings and grace from the Almighty subhanahu wa ta'ala. It can be done at various times of the day, of course. For example, narrations mention 70 salawat between Dhuhr and Asr on Friday is equal to the reward of 70 recommended pilgrimage, Hajj. Make it a habit throughout the day of Friday to fragrance the mouth with the salawat. Six, specific Quranic chapters. 
Now, it's recommended to recite Surah Al-Kahf, chapter 18, Surah Safa, chapter 37, Surah Rahman, chapter 55, and Surah Jum'ah, chapter 62, amongst other chapters on Fridays. In addition, recitation of Surah Al-Naml, chapter 27, is reported to help with rizq. Ayatul Kursi recitation on Fridays comes highly recommended as well. Number seven, cemetery visitation. Due to the nature of work during the week, many in the Western world visit graves of their loved ones on Sundays, for example. Islamic teachings, however, point to Fridays being the best days to visit cemeteries, with rewards for both the visitor and the deceased. Eight, remembering Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam. Jum'ah is known to be the day of the Holy Twelfth Imam, may Allah hasten his reappearance. It is recommended to remember him by reciting Dua al-Faraj, Dua al-Nudba, and his Ziyarah on Fridays. The last hour of Friday before sunset is designated in narrations as a unique and special time in which Dua is accepted. Pray for his reappearance the opportunity to serve him, and to be those who work hard in preparation personally and collectively as a community at this time of ghaybah. 9. Seeking forgiveness and other supplications. It is recommended after Salatul Asr on Fridays to recite Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayh 70 times. It is also rewarding to recite the various special prayers and supplications on Friday, such as Dua is Simat, as well as other supplications, all found in Mafatih al Jinan. Now, the Ziyarah of the Ahl al Bayt is also very much rewarding on Fridays too. The link for these Duas is found below the video. Finally, seeking knowledge. Imam Sadiq in a narration, warns of the neglect on Friday by some Muslims in terms of seeking knowledge. Maybe, on your way to work, listen to an audio Islamic lecture or an Islamic book, or perhaps dedicate part of your break or lunch hour at work to research a question you may have had. Now, I understand that some may have concerns regarding these recommendations since Friday is a working day in the Western world. However, we should try to incorporate what we can into our schedules. For example, to have the ghusl of Friday before we leave for work, or to recite the Qur'an after we come back from work, and so on. The more we invest and try, the more we are blessed in both worlds. Don't delay. Let's start some of these actions this Friday, inshaAllah. Taqabbal Allahu a'malakum.